Hello, my name is Michael Terry and this is a trout stream restoration that I've done for wild brook trout on a small creek in Pennsylvania. Basically I took a small tiny stream that didn't have any had stone structure to it, but what I did is I added more to optimize how the stream would react. I put wooded and stone structure all throughout areas of the stream so that it would raise the depth levels, create houses, create insect areas and also create a new run afterwards. Now take in mind this was a very small stream at one time which it's still still really small. This is actually at a high water flow. We just had a very decent amount of rain come through in the last two days. But I created all these rock structures through here to maximize the depth and the keep the water pumping. As you can see along the side here how I got these rock structures with a pump coming right through the metal. And here's another structure that I created making a pump through the metal and having it so the water creates a punch pool which I set rocks along the back of it so you can see there. Massive, massive amount of rock and wood that I've put in here. Now this here, the side of this hill, used to all flow along the whole side of it pretty flat. Which, what I created is I'd take rocks from the back and put them in front, vice versa right through here, so that it would plunge pull which created about four or five separate plunge pools throughout this whole section here going up through. Now on towards the left hand side here I created these small little runs right along the side here. That way what it would do would optimize the depth on the side here to the right and it would keep the insect population good it will keep it so it doesn't flood and you got to keep the side water here that just that helps out for insect populations and for the natural environment so there's certain things you can do to a stream that will help it out but then again you gotta really watch you can't choke a stream out by just creating such structures such as dam they gotta have places where the water is filtered and comes out pumping again. So I'll just give you a, a run through all these little structures here. What I basically did is I took this whole stream which had brook trout in it about the size of maybe 12 inches the largest I ever saw. And within a course of four years, which is taking me this long, I excavated all the rock from out in the woods here. See? Excavated all the rock from out of the woods. Didn't destroy any of the stream bed. I left all the natural stream bed alone except for a few spots which I'll show and explain that. But created all these wonderful pumping structures is what I call them as opposed to being actual dams. Which optimizes the, the level of the water. Gives a fish a place to live and grow up, places to hide. And what's happened here is what I do is every place there was a natural form, uh, forming pool, I went ahead and maximized those areas. And then created really nice pumps form, such as this one right here, which is slammed up against the side of this huge rock. You can see this pumping structure and it gets pumped right into the side 
and it actually creates a nice dugout underneath these rocks create a nice area for fish so that's as simple as it gets to explain it to you and the fish in here now are a really decent size the largest I saw which uh, spawning has been occurring just within the last week too bad I didn't have a camera I would have got some pictures of that and I wish I would have got a chance to get on a hot, low water flow so you can see actually all the structure that was created throughout the stream basically manipulating it for trout production took areas such as right there is a side where the water would flow out even during the summer and it created all this was real real low water and it would warm up a little bit easier but with these good flushing pumps the water will cool itself down by adding oxygen and just the, the flow of it will create the, the top surface tension to release its heat so that's why good pumping areas are really crucial to trout streams and you gotta have them basically I took areas that were real small and made them just maximized them for every area throughout the trout stream that could possibly hold a larger amount of water so larger fish now getting back to the size of the trout that I've been seeing like there were trout in here that were only on average six maybe you'd find a 12 inch trout which they were really kind of rare but now after I've been doing this first I started with a log structure I covered up all the main holes first with logs and woody debris here's one place where I manipulated the stream where the stream bed used to be flat throughout this area right here and it used to go down slipping onto this right hand side didn't really do it too much it was good for insects and hopefully I didn't do anything wrong to them and still it's a good area for insects the water still do goes down there we actually had a good amount of flow and a, the water still flows down the side here but basically all I did as you can see with these stones I manipulated the sides here so it would flow down more towards the meadow and there wouldn't be two streams but there would be one small stream to help maximize the trout population in here but anyway fish in here that I'm now seeing are ranging I'm seeing a lot of small fish and I'm seeing a lot of larger fish I'm seeing fishes anywhere from 12 to the largest one that I saw was the size of about 18 inches and that's a brook trout and it was absolutely beautiful to say the least the head was really super round about three inches around if you were to take your hand and put it together and make a three inch solid circle just a lot of a lot of easy things here that were done such as making these little flush pools here that would kick out the sediment and that way it would work at creating these new pools lots of rock structure lots of woody debris all along here basically I took all the rock structure and wood structure and made it so at its highest point that I've seen it during high water flow is the highest point where I have the rock structure but all of them forming back into the middle of the pool and creating their own natural way again pumps all through here lots and lots of pumping water structure just lots and lots of woody structure and, and rock structure quite simple but still have to take a mind to the natural environment and you gotta leave it so things will naturally go their way like say this area right here this here used 